Hi, I'm Julie Willett. I'm here at La Costa. It's a beautiful, sprawling resort with a golf course, a spa, lots of shopping, and it's also home to the Chopra Center, a place famous for blending the healing arts of the East and modern Western medicine. I'm kind of new to all this stuff, but I'm really excited. Hi. Hi. Hi, Julie. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. Go ahead and take off your jacket. Okay. Yoga time. Uh, my name is Libby and I'm one of the Vedic Master Instructors here at the Chopra Center. And I'm excited because today we're going to explore yoga. This particular style of yoga is called the Seven Spiritual Laws of Yoga. What's unique about this practice is that it's not just the Hatha yoga practice, but it's infused with the seven spiritual laws of success. So every day we focus on a different principle. So for example, let's say Thursday is the law of intention and desire. So yeah. is there anything that you wanna manifest in your life right now? Mm, I mean, I'm pretty happy where I am in my life right now, but I would like to be a more patient person. More patient. Yeah. So one thing that's interesting about yoga, which is really the practice is to bring in strength, flexibility, and balance. And when you experience that on your yoga mat, you also experience that off the mat. So if you wanna experience patience, being patient with your body and having patience in the practice on the yoga mat, I bet you anything you'll have that off the mat. So what I wanna teach you is a breath technique that can really help you calm the mind. It's called alternate nostril breathing or Nadi Shodhana. So very simple, you're gonna take your thumb of your right hand and you're gonna put it over your right nostril. Take your second and third finger and place it on your third eye. So third eye point would be right between the brows, so a little bit lower, perfect. So we'll first start by taking a deep inhale through the left nostril. So inhale, and then now exhale through the left nostril. Take another inhale through the left nostril. Draw the breath up to the third eye, close off the left nostril, with the ring finger, beautiful. Hold the breath for a count of one, and then now exhale out the right nostril. Beautiful. As you exhale through the right nostril, now inhale through the right, allowing your body to relax. I'm having the experience of wanting a decongestant, is what I'm having. <laughs> The other thing that I want to teach you, and this is very simple, and this is what you should be practicing when you're doing your asanas or your yoga practice. It's called ujjayi breath. Ujjayi? Ujjayi. Ujjayi breath. Ujjayi, very good. So ujjayi breath is a technique where you're breathing in and out through the nose. So both nostrils here. There's an actual practice that you can do. This is called a Sufi circle. So with the Sufi circle, you'll be doing the ujjayi breath, inhaling and exhaling through the nose, inhaling as you come forward, exhaling as you move back. Oh, you make it look like a dancer. Goodness. You're dancing with movement, and this is a great way too to open up through the hips. You can imagine as you're moving in that beautiful circle, really drawing the energy from the spine all the way up through the crown of the head. How do you feel? I feel good. And I feel like I can maybe even teach this to my kids. I think they would dig it. Deepak Chopra teaches that transformation or change simply begins through awareness. So next time you feel stressed out or you're wanting to calm down or have more patience, if you can just bring your attention to the body, bring your attention to the breath, you will notice a shift. So the key to transformation is awareness. And what better way to start being aware than to pay attention to the most elemental of things, your breath. No, it's like this. I have some work to do. Hi. Hi, Julie. I'm ready for some yoga. I'm ready to practice yoga with you. Namaste. Namaste. So we've learned in Ayurveda that when we get to experience ourselves, our extended body, and all these elements of nature, it's really powerful. And to be able to practice yoga outside while breathing in the fresh air, amazing. So this is quite a treat. Oh, it is. So we're going to practice sun salutations. Come to the top of your yoga mat. 
and we're going to start in hands to heart center. Because we're outside in nature, let's take a deep breath in together. Inhale and exhale through the mouth. So inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Now allowing your eyes to float open, inhale hands to sky. And then exhale, bringing hands to feet. Going to bring the right foot back into equestrian pose. So there's a variation here. You can continue knee lifted off the yoga mat or bringing knee onto the mat. And then once you've found your strength and balance, inhale, reaching hands to sky. I like to imagine here as if I'm holding the sun and then exhale, hands to the mat, left leg moves back to meet the right into mountain pose. Beautiful. So with this pose, Julia, you can actually begin bicycling out the feet. So kind of walking the feet. So lifting right heel up, left heel down, and then coming back up onto the balls of the feet. I want you to now exhale, heels towards the mat. And then as you exhale, bringing knees to meet the mat, so bending up the knee and then lowering yourself down onto the mat. So tailbone is in the air and then exhale. Inhale, cobra pose. So elbows are in at your sides, shoulders down as you inhale, cobra. Exhale, mountain pose. Beautiful. From mountain pose, bringing left leg forward into equestrian and then reaching fingertips towards the sky. Exhale, hands towards the mat, right foot comes forward, hands to feet as you inhale, reaching hands to sky, and then exhale, fingertips wide as you bring hands to heart. And then close your eyes, feel the heartbeat. Allowing your eyes to float open. Want to check in and see how you're doing? Good, good. I mean, I can see that it would also be more relaxing and effective once you've learned it. Yes. Because I'm spending a lot of um, time correcting what I'm doing and watching to see your form and watching to see what you're doing and trying to adjust myself. The one thing to keep in mind is that we practice yoga, we practice meditation. Much like doctors practice medicine, Right. Doctors don't perfect medicine, we don't perfect yoga, we don't perfect meditation, right. it's so it's practice. a practice. So I just had an awesome yoga session here with Libby at La Costa and she got me all full of sun salutation and the most important thing she taught me was that yoga is not only what you do on the mat, but what you take away from the mat into your life.